apologies. So 4 gets distributed to the 5 and 4 gets distributed to the J. So that will be 5 to the power of 4. And 6 times 4 is 24, so that would be four, J to the power of 24. I'll skip question 8, let you try that one out yourself. Question 9. The 3 will get distributed to the 6, the A squared, and the B to the power of 6. So that will leave us with 6 to the power of 3, A to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6, and B to the power of 6 times 3, which is 18. All right, now we'll do question 11. Negative 3 d times W to the power of 3 times Z to the power of 8, all to the fifth power. The 5 will be distributed. So we end up with negative 3. I'm going to put that in the parentheses because the negative does need to also get hit with that 5 times W to the 3. Oh, I'm sorry, 3 times 5. We'll pretend I did that on purpose. And just to keep it consistent, we'll say Z times to the 8 times 5. So we end up with negative 3 to the 5th times W to the 15th and Z to the 40th. And just as a quick side note, negative 3 to the power of 5 is not equal or is not the same thing as negative 3 to the 5th with the 5 on the outside. You always you need to write the parentheses or it's not equivalent. Although in this case it is numerically equivalent. <laughs> a, be a better example would have been something like 2, negative 2 to the power of 5 to the power to the power of six is not equal to negative two to the power of six. This side would be um, neg uh, this side will be positive. This side will be negative because here the six does not affect the negative sign. Here the six will affect it, and since the six is even, it will be positive. 